Hi, today we are going to make a dish with chorizo, chicken, artichokes, red peppers, and sherry. This dish is um, was inspired by the a trip to Spain that I took with my uh, when my daughter was in the study abroad program, and we went up to the Basque region, which is between uh, the border between Spain and France, and the food was just so good. So I came home and tried to replicate it, and this is one of the dishes that I came up with that comes very very close. So it's called Basque chicken and chorizo skillet dinner. Okay, I have opted out of the potatoes or rice um, because of a, a low carb diet and it, I didn't miss them at all. So come with me and let's give it a try. I'm Dorothy by the way, and uh, I'm here, I aim to please. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with the chorizo. I am using uh, raw chorizo you can use cured chorizo also cut into rounds which is probably more typical but i didn't have any so this is what i'm using and it tastes pretty so um just fry these up and then remove them and then we'll put the chicken in okay Okay, remove them to a dish and then add the chicken. And the chicken comes next. Okay, so once the chorizo are over there, now we're going to uh, do the same thing with the chicken pieces. These are chicken thighs, you can use breast. Um, if you do the thighs, you want to do a uh, boneless thighs. And you can see how they pick up the chorizo um, juice there. So fry these up for about, uh, I don't know, five minutes. Turning occasionally, and then we'll take those off the plate. Okay, I cooked the chicken pieces about five minutes. They're nice and brown. So now we are going to remove them to the plate with the chorizo. And add the onions and peppers. And turn the heat down just a little bit to medium. Okay, onions. Peppers. Trying to get them in the pot. And then we're going to saute those up for a while. So they get nice and caramelized and melded together. Okay, onions and peppers have picked up all of the chorizo juice. And you can see it on the onions. Now we're going to add a lot of other stuff. We're going to add the olives and the garlic and the sherry and the paprika. the tomatoes. I'm going to stir all that together and let it cook for a couple minutes to get the tomato juice evaporated a bit. Get it all melded together and then we will add the meat back in. Okay, so that has sauteed together for about a minute. Now we're going to add the meat back in. Stir that together. Put 
put a cover on it and turn it down to simmer. Turn the timer on. Let's see, 20 minutes. And relax. Okay, that has cooked for 20 minutes. It should be all nice and melded together into this robust stew. And now the last thing we'll do is add some artichoke hearts. Okay, so this melded all together and now I added the artichoke hearts at the very end and we'll just cook for about one minute and then we are good to go. Okay, um, everything's done. It's time for the taste test. And I'm just gonna do a little bowl because we're gonna have this for dinner and I want to uh, make sure it's perfect before serving it to the rest of the family. So I'm gonna take a little bite. Mm-mm. Mm. Takes me, takes me right back to Spain. This is perfect. A little uh, sample and not hard to make and a robust, wonderful flavor. See you next time.